slash as nothing on Barbie. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, I'm Stella, and I love making miniatures for Barbie's dollhouse using mainly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature electric guitar for your dolls. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video, so now, let's get started! To make the guitar's body, cut this part of the template 5 or 6 times, and if you're using my free printable template, I suggest using a needle or an awl to pierce these tiny holes. As usual, I recommend using cardstock from old packagings, glue layers together until you get to a thickness of around 4 millimeters. Next, cut this part three times and glue the pieces on top of the one we just assembled. Now cut this part and attach it to the back of the guitar's body. The final piece should be around 6 millimeters thick. Use a nail file to sand the edges to make them more rounded, like this. Cover the whole piece with acrylic gesso. This will smooth out the surface and make it appear more even, especially around the edges. Color the guitar's body with acrylic paint, then coat it with a clear varnish to give it a shiny finish. I use a UV resin in place of the varnish, but any water-based varnish or clear nail polish will do the job. And if you're curious about what supplies I'm using to make this project, I have them listed in the description box down below. Now cut this part into lightweight cardstock and attach the elements to one another, this way. Color the resulting piece with a silver chrome paint, then attach it to the slot in the back of the guitar's body. Next, cut this part into metallic cardstock and this part into glossy photo paper. If you don't have any photo paper, you can use regular copy paper and cover it with a piece of clear tape. Attach these two parts together, then glue the final piece to the center of the guitar's back. Use silver paint and a dialing tool or toothpick to paint four tiny screws on the plate. To make a pick guard, cut this part into photo paper and glue it to the front of the guitar's body. Then cut these elements and glue them into the three open slots in the pick guard. Now cut these pieces into photo paper and attach them on top of the metallic parts, this way. Finally, paint a few tiny screws on the pick guard with silver chrome paint. To make a dial, cut this part into photo paper and glue each circle to the guitar's body, aligned with the holes in the pick guard. Draw some tiny dots along the edge of each circle with a fine tip marker. Next, to take a short piece of thin metal wire, then cut this strip into copy paper and glue it around the wire this way. Cut this little circle into glossy photo paper and glue it to the top of the dial. We'll have to make three identical pieces. Insert them into the holes on the guitar's front side. If you want, you can write little fakey words on the dials or real words if you can write this tiny. Now, take another piece of metal wire or a knife pin and cover one of its ends with a drop of white glue. Let the glue dry, then paint it with white acrylics. Insert the resulting little lever into this slot on the guitar's body. To make the bridge, cut this part into lightweight cardstock. Attach the three elements together, then gently bend this part upwards, like this. Now cut this part and glue it on top of the previous one. Finally, attach this part to the rest. You should end up with this. Color the bridge with a silver chrome paint. Then use a fine tip marker to add some extra details. To make the strings, cut 6 pieces of sewing thread. All approximately 25-30cm to 30 centimeters long. Tape them to a sheet of paper and color them with silver paint. When the paint is dried, insert every string into the bridge using a needle to make the process easier. Pull the strings to the back of the bridge, then trim the excess away. Lastly, attach the bridge to the front of your little guitar. Now, take another eye pin or a piece of metal wire and cover one of its ends with white glue. Let it dry, then paint it white. Bend the wire like this. Then, insert it into the hole on the bridge. Next, cut this part into lightweight cardstock and attach all the pieces together. Paint the final element with silver chrome paint. Then, add these details with acrylic paints and a fine tip marker. Attach the resulting piece to the guitar's front side. To make the neck of your miniature electric guitar, cut this part and glue two layers together. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. 
And if you're considering buying your first machine, or you simply want to try a new tool, or even just get replacement mats, I have some good news. I just became a Cricut affiliate, so if you want, you can use the links pinned in my comments or description box, and that's going to support my channel, which I would be very grateful for. Paint the whole piece with light brown acrylic. Then cut this part and paint it in a slightly darker brown color. You can use two shades of brown to mimic a wood grain texture. Attach these pieces to the rest of the guitar's neck. Then draw the frets using a lead pencil. The distance between each fret should increase as you move up the fretboard. And once again I didn't draw quite enough of them, but hopefully Barbie won't notice. Draw the last line with a white pen. Then add these positioning markers with a white or black pen. Coat the top part of the neck with a clear varnish. Then glue it to the guitar's body. Now cut this part into lightweight cardstock and glue it to the guitar's headstock. At this point we can attach all the strings to the headstock, sliding them into these holes with a needle. Fix the string to the back of the headstock with a touch of white glue, then trim away the excess. Now cut this part and glue the layers together. Paint the resulting piece the same color as the headstock, then glue it to the back of the guitar's neck this way. Cover it with a coat of clear gloss varnish. Then cut this part into metallic cardstock or regular cardstock painted with silver paint. Attach these elements to the back of the headstock, making sure to align them to the holes on the front side. Now cut this part and glue all the pieces on top of the ones we just attached to the headstock. If you're using my fruit principle template, you may want to skip this step and instead use a few small beads, as I showed you in my miniature acoustic guitar tutorial. Speaking of which, take 12 mini beads and paint them silver. Then glue 6 of them over the holes on the front of the headstock. And the remaining 6 to its back. And our miniature electric guitar is ready. Would you like to see more musical instruments in the future? Let me know in the comments. As promised, here's a link to the free principle template. And if you want to give your dolls a more traditional acoustic guitar, you may want to watch this video next. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!